okay now in today's class we will discuss about lt flux and flux density what is meant by lt flux is it this lt flux is physically touchable or is it uh, 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 we are able to observe this lt flux okay to find this lt flux and the flux density and to define the flux density okay michael faraday in 1837 conducting uh, several experiments okay uh, best among the uh, best among those experiments uh, best among those experiments to understand the basic concept behind the celtic flux is demonstrated here see here the michael faraday in 1837 while conducting experiments of static electric fields okay to uh, okay, for the best demonstration they consider a pair of concentric conducting spheres okay they consider a pair of concentric concentric veins this is the one sphere this is the another sphere okay they consider <clears throat> a pair of concentric conducting spheres okay they consider two concentric spheres they consider two concentric spheres okay uh, this is the inner sphere and this is the outer sphere the surface of that inner sphere deposited with positive charge. Okay, this is the positive charge. Okay, the uh, the inner surface is coated with the positive charge Q. Okay, the insulating material or air and remaining uh, remaining this is okay, and uh, the space between that inner and outer uh, spheres are isolated with okay, some dielectric material or uh, air is also dielectric, right? That's why uh, without any uh, spacing apart is considered here. They know dielectric material or insulating material or only uh, they consider air as a dielectric medium in between the inner sphere and outer sphere. And there is no net charge on the surface of the outer sphere okay, by default or uh, at initial. Okay? The outer sphere was attained momentarily uh, through corrosive switch means Okay, this is the inner sphere. Okay, this is the air. Okay, and this is the outer sphere. This outer sphere is connected to ground, and this is the switch. Okay, this is the uh, this is the ground, and this is the switch. Okay. <clears throat> So uh, when uh, it is it, the switch is uh, okay, uh, with a certain time period, if we on and off, initially there is no net charge on the outer sphere, but when the outer sphere is connected to a uh, switch, connected to earth uh, through switch, okay, the inner sphere was carefully removed. Okay, the inner sphere was carefully removed and charge on the outer sphere was the uh, message. Okay, the outer sphere was at turned momentarily through the closure switch. The inner sphere was carefully removed. Okay, and the charge on the outer sphere was the uh, measured. Okay, uh, according to that Michael Faraday, these are the observations. See here, on the outer sphere, the negative charge minus Q equal in magnitude of the positive charge was observed. Okay, that is the first point. And second point, the charge on the outer surface was independent of the size of the sphere and the dielectric medium between them. Okay. Inner sphere having a very small radius and outer sphere having a somewhat uh, uh, higher radius than that inner, inner sphere. But the charge deposited on that outer sphere is minus Q, okay, which is equal in magnitude to that positive charge was absorbed. Okay. As the uh, positive charge on the inner surface increases, the negative charge on the outer surface also increases equal in magnitude but opposite in direction. Okay. Uh, from that analysis, okay, Faraday postulated that there was the electric displacement from the positive charge to the negative charge through the medium. That is, the displacement is called this displacement is called electric flux. Okay, what is the displacement occurred here? See here. Okay. 
this is the uh, pictorial representation okay this displacement is called electric flux it is the total number of lines of the force in the electric field and is represented by a symbol psi remember this is the symbol of psi okay the lines of the force are called flux lines or stream lines the amount of displacement of flux is equal in magnitude to the positive charge get it it is very very uh, important okay see okay this is the inner sphere and this is the outer sphere inner sphere is uh, uh, deposited with the positive charge okay of course those these two are metals okay okay how much positive charge deposited on the inner inner sphere surface that said uh, the same and opposite uh, charge is uh, okay developed at the outer sphere surface okay when that outer sphere is momentarily connected to the ground okay with switch Okay, the electric flux is psi and electric charge produces the electric flux and as a charge increases right the electric flux also increases okay the electric charge produces the electric flux and as the charge increases the flux density also increases okay that is the point here therefore the electric flux is numerically equal to the electric charge producing it okay and that is the point we observe from that uh, uh, analysis okay or experiment if an electric charge produces q coulombs okay then electric flux associated with it given by psi equal to q coulombs and that much of charge which is developed because of the displacement okay for an isolated positive charge q the electric flux uh, okay originates radially from a positive charge and terminates at infinity see here okay this is the uh, inner surface okay inner sphere uh, surface positive charge okay and because of that inner surface positive charge there is a possibility of existing opposite charge on the outer sphere okay for suppose that outer sphere is located at an infinite point okay see here this is the minus q and because of this positive charge okay opposite negative charge is developed at an infinite point Okay, from infinity, see here. The observe this direction. Okay, this is the positive charge. Okay, to infinite. Uh, this is the equal and opposite negative charge developed in respect of plus positive charge. I mean, positive charge or plus Q. See here, this is the from infinity. Okay, this is a very crucial concept, and uh, okay, uh, and most of the uh, scientists try to develop. And when uh, we add together plus q and minus q, what is the net charge? Okay, this is the positive charge and this is the negative charge plus q and minus q. When we add together plus q and minus q, what is the net charge? The net charge is zero, right? For suppose corona having some positive, some charge, right? And in some of the literature they mentioned as a positive charge, in some of the literature they mentioned as a negative charge. Okay. For suppose uh, that corona is corona, okay, that virus having a negative charge. If we provide equal and opposite positive charge, okay, there is a possibility of nullify that net charge of that corona, right? There is no further movement, there is no further extension, it is completely nullified okay, with this concept. Okay, that is the novel concept. Uh, most of them, most of the scientists tried, uh, tried with that concept, okay, uh, how to nullify that corona. A coronavirus how to kill that coronavirus okay the same concept okay this is, this is the uh, okay backbone okay. this is the this is the uh, inner Okay, this is the plus positive charge and this is the negative charge because of that. See here, this is the positive charge because of that positive charge. First of all, see here, this is the positive charge. This is always try to uh, okay, displace or to develop the negative charge. Okay, uh, that's why this is the direction away from that positive charge. 
okay this is also same positive charge similarly for that negative charge see here flux lines how they move okay how they develop the negative charge okay an isolated positive charge and isolated negative charge and flux lines between them okay two positive charges and two negative charges how they uh, now oh, okay uh, this figure a b c d okay figures a b c d this is the same okay same polarities okay repel each other okay same polarities repel each other positive positive repel each other okay negative negative repel each other but negative and positive see here negative and positive direction see here c to d see here okay these are always attract each other these are always repel each other okay see here similarly for an isolated negative charge the electric flux from n finite is radially terminates at the negative charge okay if the two like charges are placed near each other the force of repulsion comes into the uh, picture okay the flux lines from the two positive charges repel each other and the same polarities repel each other and opposite polarities attract each other okay the uh, the same uh, the concept is uh, try to explain here the flux lines from the two positive charges repel each other and they terminate at infinity likewise the flux lines from the infinity repels each other and terminates at the negative charges similarly consider the two point charges placed in space okay uh, if one charge is brought near another charge the force exists between them okay that is if the positive charge is placed near the negative charge the electric field is developed between the charges due to the force okay uh, the lines the lines of force are generated radially from that positive charge and terminates at the negative charge okay see here the electric flux is a scalar quantity okay and it it it, it uh, okay it moves in all directions right it doesn't have any specific direction okay that's why the electric flux is a scalar quantity the flux lines are always parallel to each other and are equally spaced through the solid angle okay okay that is observed from that figure flux lines do not depends on medium okay uh, with the okay, which the charges are placed okay and fourth point flux lines radiate in all directions from or into the charges okay, depending upon the positive or negative charges okay it's all about uh, electric flux okay and how that electric fluxes are developed developed okay uh, with respect to charges okay and uh, observation from this uh, topic is what is the electric flux and how the flux is represented uh, that electric flux is represented with psi the electric flux uh, uh, indirectly develops and uh, similarly uh, what it means the electric flux origin i mean the electric flux generated in that experiment is proportional to charge developed right that's why psi equal to q okay and next one is the electric flux density electric flux is different from electric flux density electric flux is denoted with psi where the electric flux density is denoted with d okay remember that point electric flux is denoted with psi okay the symbol of psi okay the symbol of psi where the electric flux density the electric flux density is d the electric flux density consider that electric flux density originated from the positive charge q okay see here okay um, and this is the some positive charge okay let us assume this is the metal surface uh, where the positive charge is developed because of this positive charge it is always try to develop or simply displaced okay until this negative charge q minus q okay because of that okay uh, these flux lines are formed okay consider that the electric flux psi originated from the positive charge q <coughs> let's ds with the differential surface area at a point p which is perpendicular to the flux lines okay the electric flux crossing through the surface area is d psi let us assume 
ओके जनरली व्हाट इज मीन बाय फ्लक्स डेंसिटी फ्लक्स पर यूनिट एरिया राइट फ्लक्स पर यूनिट एरिया व्हाट इज द रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ द फ्लक्स साइ एरिया ए आर एस राइट एरिया इज रिप्रेजेंटेड रिप्रेजेंटेड एज कैपिटल ए और कैपिटल एस ओके सरफेस एरिया एस स्टैंड्स फॉर ओके देन दैट्स व्हाई व्हाट इज मीन बाय डेंसिटी डेंसिटी मींस पर एरिया ओके और पर यूनिट लेंथ or per unit area that's why here electric flux density equal to electric flux by uh, unit area that's why d equal to d psi by ds okay of course that an is the uh, direction okay, unit vector direction the flux density d at any point it depends upon the direction of the differential surface area if the flux density makes the angle theta with uh, normal to ds then d psi equal to and from this from this expression Okay, from this expression, d is equal to d into d s, right? So d is equal to d into d s. Okay, uh, uh, which makes an angle theta, right? That's why it is a uh, d is equal to d is equal to d into d s cos theta. Okay, uh, this is the d is equal to d into d s. D is equal to d into d s cos theta. Okay, that is represented as a d dot d s. Okay, that is for an electric flux density D. The flux passing through the surface area D S is the simply the dot product of uh, D and D S. Okay, if S is the total area, then total flux is equal to D dot S. Okay, and if we integrate on both sides, that's all. If we integrate on both sides, what we get? Okay, only differential integration. Both are cancelled. So equal to d dot s. So then, okay, uh, that's all about flux density. Okay. Next concept is electric flux density. Okay, what we learn so far? What is meant by electric flux? Who develop? Who who perform the experiment? And okay, uh, what we observe from that experiment? When we consider the two spheres, two concentric spheres, two concentric spheres. Okay, the inner sphere uh, surface is coated with a pos some positive charge. The equal and opposite charges developed at outer sphere surface when the outer sphere is connected to ground and momentarily uh, uh, switch on and off. Okay, and how they transfer charge in terms of flux? Okay, is the electric flux that electric flux is denoted with psi? That is the first point. And the next one is electric flux density. Electric flux density is nothing but flux per unit area. Okay, and denoted with capital D. So D equal to Uh, psi by s, but uh, we consider always the differential form. That's why uh, capital D equal to d psi by d s. From that, d psi equal to d dot d s. When we integrate on both sides, psi equal to d dot s. Okay, that is the uh, second point. Next, next concept is electric flux density due to point charge. Electric flux density due to point charge. And when we consider a single point charge. When we when we consider a single point charge, then what is the uh, net flux density due to that point charge? See here, consider an imaginary imaginary sphere of radius r. Okay, uh, imagine, okay, this is the radius r. Okay, here not mentioned, but this is the radius r, and a uh, and a point charge q. This is the point charge q. Uh, <clears throat> Placed at the center as shown in figure, the flux lines originating okay, the flux lines originating from this point charge distribute radially over the entire surface of the sphere. Okay, that is a, a experimental concept, right? Okay, that is the same experiment conducted by that uh, Michael Faraday. Okay, according to the definition of electric flux density d equal to d by d s. Okay, with the total surface area. Okay, the total surface area through which uh, electric flux passes. Okay, from that sphere. Or from the center of that sphere, 
okay and due to symmetry of the radial direction d is always normal to the surface okay that's why d equal to total flux by uh, surface area it is the same expression d equal to dc by ds right right so d equal to psi is nothing but a flux s is nothing but a area that's why but uh, this is the concentric sphere circular sphere that's why uh, that area is uh, 4 pi r square right so d equal to total flux by surface area of the sphere that's why psi by 4 pi r square okay just you have to uh, simplify so psi equal to q from that experiment right psi equal to plus q d equal to q by 4 pi r square in the direction of an where an equal to r equal to radial direction normal to the surface area so d equal to q by 4 pi r square of r okay Okay, this is the electric flux density uh, main uh, uh, derivation. Okay, the electric flux density is also called as a displacement flux density. Remember this point. Okay, the electric flux density or displacement flux density both are same. Okay, uh, and it is better to better to remember displacement flux density why because the notation is capital D. Capital D stands for displacement. Okay, the electric flux density. The electric flux density and displacement flux density both are same and same notation. It can be seen from the above. The electric flux density depends upon the charge and the radial distance for radial distance and is independent of the characteristics of that medium. Okay, medium may be anything. Okay, that is the third point you learned. Okay, first point is psi equal to q. Second point, d equal to d psi by ds. Third point, d equal to q by 4 pi r square. Okay. And so far, we learned these three points from this today's class. And next one is relation between E and D. What is the electric field strength E and the displacement flux density D? What is the relation between them? Okay. That is also uh, very, very important. Okay. The relationship between E and D. relationship between E and E. What is the E? Capital E. Capital E stands for electric field strength. D is electric flux density. Okay. Uh, as we know that the electric field strength E and the displacement uh, or distance R from that positive charge Q is given by E equal to Q by 4 pi R square. Okay. Uh, again, uh, how do we get this expression? This is the fundamental expression for electric field strength, right? Okay. How do we define? This fundamental expression from the earlier class. Okay, what is the expression? Um, just wait. Okay, uh, what is the definition for the electric field strength? Electric field strength definition is E equal to F by Q, right? Okay, from this, finally uh, substitute that F equal to Q1, Q2 by uh, 4, 5. Okay, 4 pi uh, epsilon naught R square. Okay. I will substitute the same here. What we get finally, the electric field strength E equal to, electric field strength E equal to, when we substitute, okay, uh, let us say uh, this is Q2 or Q1, what it may be. Okay, uh, and the final expression contains Q2 by the four pi, Epsilon not R square. Okay, this is the expression we got, right? Now the same expression is uh, uh, same expression is here. Okay, what is the displacement flux density? Displacement flux density d equal to d equal to. Of course. Q by okay, four five epsilon, right? 
Okay, that is the okay. Is it correct or not? Okay, e equal to sorry, e equal to cube by four five from r square. Okay, this is the derivation already you know. Okay, from this, what is the uh, displacement flux density d? D equal to q by four phi r square, right? So q by four phi r square, d equal to q by four. Can I replace? Can I replace this q by four phi r square? Depreciation. Okay, that is capital D, and one by epsilon is remaining. That's why d equal to what we get epsilon e. D equal to epsilon e. Okay. Okay. This is the uh, point. D equal to basically q by four phi r square. Okay. If we replace that value, if we replace that value, then we get e one by epsilon into d. From this, d equal to epsilon e. Okay, this is the expression. Therefore, d and e are related. Okay, what is the topic here? The relationship between e and d. This is the basic basic relationship between d and e. D equal to epsilon e. Okay, e equal to four by four by epsilon r square into e r. That is one by epsilon into d. So d equal to epsilon e. Therefore, d and e are related through permittivity of the medium. Okay, this is the relation. Okay, where e is the function of permittivity of that medium, where the flux density, uh, okay, there is no flux density, and uh, there are not, okay, there is no relation, are not involved in this relation. Okay, for the medium where the permittivity is constant, okay, the direction of the displacement flux density is along the direction of e. Okay, the electric flux density due to charge distributions. Now the electric flux density due to charge distributions. Okay, uh, different cases are considered here. And for line charge, surface charge, volume charge. Okay, of course here not mentioned that volume charge. See, okay, of course uh, there is one of the part here. The electric flux density. Okay, relation between E and D. Okay, and so far we learned those three 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 points. So electric flux density due to charge distributions. Okay, for an infinite line charge density, rho L as shown in uh, figure, uh, sorry, in the equation two point two. Okay, what is the conclusion we get from that uh, derivation? E equal to rho L by two phi epsilon rho, not the uh, right. So, but uh, uh, what is the displacement flux density? D D equal to epsilon e. And when we multiply uh, this e with epsilon, okay, e with epsilon, then we get uh, displacement flux density. That's why d equal to epsilon e equal to epsilon into rho l by two phi epsilon rho e rho. Okay, epsilon epsilon cancel. What we get rho l by two phi rho. Rho l by two phi rho. Okay, that is the case one. Okay, case two. When we consider a infinite sheet charge having a uniform charge density rho s. Okay, what is the fundamental expression it contains? E equal to rho s by two epsilon. Right. When uh, for the displacement flux density d equal to epsilon e equal to epsilon multiply with epsilon. Okay, epsilon epsilon cancel again. Rho s by two. Okay, and where a n is the unit vector normal to the plane of the sheet. Okay, that is the case two and case three. Uh, okay, here no uh, no separate derivation is required. See here the volume charge enclosed by a sphere of radius r. Okay, the, for a volume charge, for a volume charge, okay, enclosed by a sphere of radius r having a uniform charge density rho v. Okay, actually what is the expression for electric field strength e equal to q by four phi epsilon r square, right? So flux density d equal to epsilon e equal to uh, q by four phi epsilon r square into epsilon, right? Epsilon epsilon cancel, then uh, result is q by four q by four phi r square. So q by four phi r square. Okay. Q by four phi r square. Okay. Uh, but uh, uh, what is meant by volume integral? The what is meant by volume charge density? What is going to be volume charge density? Volume charge density. Okay. See here, volume charge density. Okay. 
simply uh, rho v falling charge is t rho v equal to dq by dv. dq by dv right rho v equal to dq by dv okay let us assume that is the that p symbol is as a rho and this is the v and the volume charge so from that dq equal to rho v dv dq equal to Pro V D V. Okay. Okay, integrate on both sides. What we get? Integrate on both sides. Integrate on both sides. Q equal to Q equal to, of course, what is the symbol of okay, integral? Integral rho v dv. Okay, see here that is the same expression they mentioned here. Okay. Integration on both sides, Q equal to integral rho v dv. That's all. Okay, uh, just you have to substitute that. Uh, 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 charge here. Flux density d equal to epsilon e equal to q by uh, d equal to epsilon e equal to q by four phi r square. Okay, what we get here? Q by four phi r square into here, right? Where q equal to integral v rho v dv. Okay, where d equal to oh, what is the expression here? D equal to volume integral of rho v dv by four phi r square. Okay, why? Because just to have to substitute uh, d value here. Okay. Or simply we have to substitute Q in this expression. That's all. Okay, that is that volume charge density. Uh, that definition is enough. Okay, that definition is enough. Okay, that is the Okay, this is for line, that is for surface, that is for volume, okay, for three cases. And next one is the Gauss law. Okay. In today's class, uh, we will go through the definition of that Gauss law in next, next class. Uh, this Gauss law having a different forms, integral form, point form. Okay, uh, different forms are there. According to that forms, uh, we will, uh, okay. Uh, see all those concepts in a single class. Why? Because it is best understand and uh, comparable. Uh, see, I mean, comparison purpose, it is best suitable. See here, what is meant by Gauss law? Gauss law states that the net electric flux, the net electric flux passing through the closed surface is equal to the charge enclosed by the surface. According to that experiment conducted by the Michael Faraday, okay, what we get, okay, for suppose that inner sphere having some positive charge, the equal and opposite charges developed at the opposite charge. Is there any additional charges created? No. Okay, that is the statement here. Gauss law states that the net electric flux, the net electric flux passing through the closed surface and from inner sphere to outer sphere. Okay, that is a closed surface area. Okay, right. Gauss law states that the net electric flux passing through the closed surface is equal to the total charge enclosed by the surface. Total charge enclosed by the surface. So mathematically, it can be expressed as psi equal to q enclosed. Psi equal to q enclosed. That is uh, closed integral of d dot ds. Okay, psi equal to q enclosed. Okay, remember this point, and it is very, very, very important in uh, okay, your final exam point of view. Okay. Okay, this is the integral form of uh, uh, Gauss law. Okay, simply this is the integral form of Gauss law. 
okay uh, what will and uh, what will and so far in yesterday's class electric flux and electric flux density what is the difference between these two and what is the experiment conducted by the michael faraday what is the conclusion from the michael faraday and uh, what is meant by uh, electric flux and flux direction and uh, flux density okay uh, electric flux density due to point charge line charge and volume charge okay these three in relationship between e and d okay and these are the concepts we learned so far and what is what is statement of gauss law only statement of gauss law is very important what is the statement of gauss law gauss law states that the electric flux passing through any closed surface is equal to the charge enclosed by that surface okay mathematically uh, it is represented as i equal to q enclosed or simply closed integral of d dot ds okay q enclosed equal to charge enclosed by the surface and d is the electric flux density and ds is the differential uh, okay surface area okay uh, okay uh, the remaining end point from the gauss line see in the next class okay that's all about today's class okay uh, i will continue in the next class in tomorrow's class okay from gauss law i will continue okay that's all about today's class uh, thank you thank you everyone